Jared, you and Molly go after the new one but follow close behind. Don't attack yet. Have some fun with this one, Hen Dot ordered us. Though I kept my face impassive, irritation grew inside me. I hated playing with them, I only wanted to kill them and end their fear, and the running they all hated so much. None of the others understood as much as I did, because none of them could see into the prisoners' minds as I could. Stopping behind a tree, I quickly looked through the trees until I saw the small group of people, where the new prisoner had been dropped off. There are others. They see him, Malik told me. I peered around the thick foliage. Sure enough, a couple of others were gathered around him. One helped him up, said something to him in a rush, and they took off together. I'll follow close behind them, but without being seen. With that, I jogged around the tree I'd hid behind and trailed after the group. I'm going up. With that, he flew up into the air, which I sensed rather than saw with my own eyes. Following behind the prisoners felt odd. I'd forgotten how slow it was to walk at a human pace. They had to walk slower than one of the prisoners, Laylax, would have liked. However, the old one Munisks understood. The new one had been dragged after the creatures, so he had to go slower because he was hurt. I glanced at the new one, looking into his mind, trying to figure out why Han Da had already taken another one so soon after a new one had already been taken. Maybe because he'd already been killed, but we had plenty of others to chase. So why?